Behind ordinary people, we always find stories of passion, love, and devotion. Heroes are those who are still living in the slums where I come from. What do you think the American dream is? And to me, the American dream at this very moment, at this particular time in my life, is the kids I'm helping in Africa. To me, that's an American dream. My name is Vincent, and I do coaching for a living. I coach a couple of teams in Westchester. Um, one of the teams I coach is Bedford Youth Soccer and Castleport. Uh, my trip from Kenya to U.S. Um, started about 10 years ago. When I was back home in Kenya, I was working for a company. The company was Kenya Breweries. And uh, during the time uh, I was working for them, I was playing for them uh, soccer. And uh, what happened is um, our company was doing restructuring and uh, we were laid off. And during that time, I had a couple of offers or I had a couple of people who were offering me um, some opportunities. And that was uh, to go professional to India. Uh, the other one was to go to professional to seashells. South Africa and then there was also a possibility of coming to US to pursue education. What role did soccer play in your childhood? I think soccer has played the biggest role in my life and everywhere I go I think um, uh, I can relate to how I started playing soccer. I think I started playing soccer, if I may recall, very seriously or organized soccer when I was about 13 years old. And I remember um, my youth coach, who was deceased, his name was Mesha Kasira. He had a dream for us. And the dream was, one day we'll get out of those slums and we'll become something. If the national team needed the strength of the 12th man, they got it. And any thoughts of the match being a friendly of sorts have operated with the over Soccer made me pursue to the highest team anyone can ever do in Kenya. That was the Kenyan national team, which I played for them for about eight years. And soccer made me come to U.S. It's very difficult, having come from the area I came from, to make the national team. If I may recall, uh, when I, before I made the national team, there was only one player from that area that had ever made the national team. And then I think I was the second one. After I made the national team, I opened doors for a lot of players. Now the area is, uh, supplies a lot of national team. Having born in a very poor area, having born in an area where, with parents who barely uh, gave us food or, or we even barely had meals. Um, I had to work very hard. I had to work extremely hard. I've coached players who have never touched a soccer ball and I've transformed them to be better players. I like working with players who don't have the experience, who want to work hard because I can relate to them. Um, the difference of coaching kids in America and coaching kids in Kenya is pretty much, um, I would say, with my own experience, kids in America, they do have opportunities. They can choose from different spots. And also, the difference is they have facilities. The kids in Kenya, they pretty much, that's the only spot they have. That's the only thing they do. Your dad or your mom, is he or she going to think of buying you a pair of cleats? 
or are they going to think of buying the next meal? And that's all I tell the kids in the U.S. It is okay to be born here, and it's okay to be born in Africa. The only difference I re ever realized is a kid in the U.S., he or she has a chance to do something else. But a kid in Africa, you might not have those options. The options are very limited. And that's all. All these years I've been playing soccer, I came to realize if you don't have education, things become very difficult. And if you don't have the knowledge, you don't have the power to do anything. I have my own organization, and uh, my organization is KSKE, the Corolla Society of Kenyan Education. At the moment they have 30 children in the program, and they have full scholarship. I buy them uh, uniforms. And we buy schools, I buy school supplies, I pay for their tuition, I pay for their activities, I pay for their lunch, I pay for their exam fees. Every year I go to Kenya, I usually go to the slums and I do a clinic or just do a session. Uh, because uh, the area grew up, they still remember I was uh, one of the best players in Kenya. And if you have a chance and visit them, it's one way of motivating them and giving them hope. My advice to people uh, for soccer it's, or any, even any other sport in that sense, you've got to have um, to make a decision. It's either you want to do it or you don't want to do it. You can't go in half-heartedly. And if you, through hard work, determination and discipline, anything is possible. Uh, it doesn't matter where you come from. If you work hard, you can make it. And our senior winner goes to Dennis Sweeney. Yeah. One last question. Right. Would you call yourself a hero? No. Why not? I'm not. To me, a hero is the person who's still living in the slums where I came from. Those are the heroes.